In this kind of big box, I have two handbags from a popular designer. They're actually the same handbag, but they're in different colors and they're made of different materials. They also make a great statement and they were incredibly inexpensive. I've been wanting to try these bags for a while, so I'm finally going to get to see them in person. And so will you. Well, no, not in person, that's not true, but stay tuned. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So let's get right into the unboxing. I'm excited to see these in person, because like I said, I've been looking at them for a while. And here they are, can you read the dust bags? They are from Brandon Blackwood, and these particular bags are from the Brandon Blackwood Foundation. Now, if you are familiar with Brandon Blackwood already, you probably already know what these bags are. But which ones did I pick? Because I feel like, Based on what I've seen over the years, they seem to have a set of colors that are kind of always available or usually available, but then they also do limited runs of different colors and different materials. Okay, I'm so happy with this color, first of all. I have been looking for a bag in this color for at least a year, and I think finally Brandon Blackwood got it right, whereas some other brands I've tried have not. Here we go. It's pink! Ah, yeah, that's the pink I've been looking for. Let me finish getting it unwrapped. Okay, all unwrapped. Before we look at it up close, I want to make sure I credit Devin Christopher, and I will have his channel linked below because the very first time I ever saw one of these bags was when he unboxed one on his channel. So thank you, Devin, for introducing me to them. This bag is so nice, especially considering the price. Very small, very small bag. I'll give you measurements. We'll do a little wet fits. We'll do mod shots because it also has a crossbody shot. We still have a second bag to unbox and I'll tell you some things about the bag that are interesting, but first let's look at it up close. So clearly it's a little box bag and this is pink. I kind of wish since the bag is so small that those D-rings were just centered there and that they were on the inside of the bag instead of the outside. That would have been nice. No pockets on the back, just plain. So. You see there's text, we'll talk about that in a minute. If you didn't want that showing, you could just turn it around backwards, or maybe the tone of the metal doesn't work with the outfit you're wearing. And it does have feet on the bottom, and when I tell you how much this bag costs, you're not gonna believe that it has all those features. It has these two cute little top handles, and then when you open it up, there's even a flap with a magnetic snap to close the bag. One thing I love about Brandon Blackwood on their hardware, now it doesn't have it on these feet because they're rounded so it wouldn't work, but they have these little plastic caps on some of their other bags. Actually, Devin got me, let me show you. Devin sent me this bag, which is also Brandon Blackwood, and you can see I have the little plastic feet protectors on it. I keep them on during storage and I take them off when I wear them out. It has a little chain that goes with it too, but I have that stored inside the bag. So thanks again, Devin. Back to the inside of this bag. So you have that magnetic snap flap there, and then it's one big open compartment with the slip pocket there. You may be able to see there's some white text on the top of the pocket. It says Brandon Blackwood Foundation USDA bio-based material. So let me tell you what that means. This bag is not leather. The other one I got is, but this one is something called apple leather. It even has a little tag attached that says so. So you may have heard that there are different alternatives to leather and that some of them are plant-based. So I'll read what this says on the back of that tag. Apple leather is a bio-based material made from the leftover pomace and peels from the fruit juice and compote industries. Unusable apple seeds, stalks, and skins are crushed and dehydrated naturally into a fine powder. This powder is mixed with a resin binder and then laid flat to form the final material. Each bag is made up of at least 60 to 70 percent apples. The remainder is a mixture of corn, cactus, and other bio-based materials plus a binder, allowing leftover fruits and vegetables to be incorporated into the bag you are receiving today. So that's really interesting. And then of course there's the statement on the front of the bag. These are called ESR bags and that's because they all say end systemic racism, which is a message we can all get behind, yes? That's another reason I wanted this bag and I love that it makes that statement 
and it's there and if anybody's interested in reading it they can get a little closer and read it but it's also a little subtle it's it's like this nice balance between being in your face and being subtle because there's nothing hiding those words they're on this very plain background and they stand out because they're on that plain background but they're also not enormous and super easy to read so you have to kind of be curious to figure out what it says and i love this and i love that message on this light-hearted pink bag too but I also love it on the other bag that I got, so let's take a look at that. Here's the second one. So I got the pink one partly because I wanted a pink bag, partly because I wanted one of the bags to be more lighthearted, but then I wanted one to be more serious because it is a serious message. So I got this, which is the black, and let's take a close-up look at this. And you'll notice this also has the silver hardware. Most of them are in gold hardware, so that is available if you're curious. This is a pebbled leather, whereas the apple leather is smooth. This is actually recycled leather. And I'll explain in a second what recycled leather means, but let me give you a quick spin of this bag. It's exactly the same. It's just the different leather and different color. And it has the feet and it has the two handles and that strap inside. And then this is the tag that talks about the recycled leather. It has the slip pocket on the back, but the message is a little different. It says Brandon Blackwood Foundation made with recycled leather. The recycled leather tag says, recycled leather is a hybrid of real and vegan leather. It's made with genuine and vegan leather scraps from our Brandon Blackwood New York City handbags. They're mixed with a binder to form a single fabric, which is then rolled and bonded to a paper backing. It has the look and feel of genuine leather while being made entirely of discarded materials. This allows us to produce our main collections with no leather waste. Now, as handbag brands go, Brandon Blackwood is a relatively affordable brand. And in the realm of the contemporary brands and the ones that are highly regarded, like I think Brandon Blackwood is, I think they're actually on the cheap end of the price scale. Something I love about these ESR bags is the price point. Not only are they adorable, they're cute little things, but they retail for only $88. They're not just under 100, they're kind of well under 100. They're not like 99, right? But they sometimes have sales, and I got both of these for half price, only $44 each. And there's also a denim one that I'm interested in, so I like these so much, I think I'm gonna go get that. One thing to know about these is they are not returnable, they're final sale, and that's because they are part of the foundation. The profits from these bags go directly to the Brandon Blackwood Foundation. So let me read to you the mission of the foundation. It's the Brandon Blackwood Foundation. It says they're empowering black and persons of color creatives through education, philanthropy, and activism to counteract systemic racism and enrich a new generation of leaders. So knowing that, it makes even more sense that those bags would say, and systemic racism. Now let's do a quick what fits on these. They're small bags. Let me give you dimensions. They're seven inches across, three inches deep, and almost six inches tall. But since they are a box shape, that means you should be able to fit a decent amount in there. The sides are a bit concave, but they're also made to stretch out flat so you can fill it up. I do suspect that that flap and the magnet is not going to be super helpful and may get in your way sometimes but when you pull it back it goes through that handle and kind of sits there so then you can just open the bag up for easy access i'm going to put in here the basic minimum things that i carry the first of which is my louis vuitton agenda pm comparing that to the front of the bag it's not a whole lot bigger right but it definitely fits inside easily i didn't have to struggle with it and it's laying down lengthwise and you can see it's almost as tall as the bag too my louis vuitton zippy coin can fit right next to that my phone i have an iphone 10 stand that up and that's the basics of what i carry there's still a good amount of room over here to put a few more things sunglasses whatever you might carry and like i mentioned they come with a crossbody strap the strap is nice and long and it has five notches to adjust the length it's set on the middle one right now and that hits perfectly for me to wear this crossbody that's perfect it's so cute also i feel like i never knew that these had crossbody straps why did i not know that did i know it and forget but i'm so glad they do that makes it extra helpful i always love like i feel like i would mostly carry this top handle but it's always so helpful to have a crossbody strap this one you can fit your hand through but it's not going to go much farther than your wrist on most people. I don't find that particularly comfortable to wear. So top handle or crossbody for me. Of course you could also put this on your shoulder 
And since it's removable, if you have another strap that you want to wear, maybe a chain or maybe a big fabric strap that would go with it, you could certainly dress it up with those options. And one of the things I love about top handle bags or any bag that has a short handle is you can wrap a twilly around it for even more interest. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of these bags, if you have one, if you've thought about getting one. I hope when this video goes up that they're still on sale and you're able to get that great price, but even at full price, only $88, definitely worth it. And now I'm gonna go back to the website and pick up at least that denim one and maybe a couple more depending on what they have left. Well, I hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.